Places like Starbucks and McDonald's have free Wi-Fi, which is great to use when you're out of the house and you want to get some computing done. They're for-profit businesses, which, I mean, they offer this free Wi-Fi as a way to add value to their locations. As much as I like my little messy home office, I sometimes need to get out of the house. However, recently, both Starbucks locations and McDonald's locations have started putting, well, they're supposed to be adult material blocking software. But in reality, they block more than just that. A really common problem I have is loading up raw text pages. Do not load. For example, the raw output from a Git repository will not load. It'll just, there's a block there. But this also affects things like Debian's repositories. So I have this weird thing where I can't do a system update at McDonald's. But say I need to grab a package or an application, the solution is a little unusual, but it, it makes sense. You can install Tor as a service. And, and Debian, and probably a lot of other Debian-based distributions, all you really need to do is install the package Tor, T-O-R. This will automatically install Tor and a little program called Tor Socks. For example, earlier today, I wanted to install CMatrix. Uh, I couldn't do that, but I was able to do sudo su uh, into a, uh, a root user, and then use Tor Socks apt install CMatrix, and I was good to go. So a lot of people think of Tor as being like the dark web tool, but in reality, it can be used kind of like a, a little bit like a proxy or, or a VPN. It's allowed to get around some of those little weird things. It's a very useful tool. So on all my devices, I usually have the tiny application called Tor. Now, if you're gonna actually use the browser, I still recommend the Tor browser suite because, well, A, it's very simple to set up, which removes a lot of the, the security holes that you might accidentally introduce, but also just because it's, it's a very up-to-date package and very security focused. However, for grabbing some app files, from the McDonald's Wi-Fi, the Tor command line tool is great.